You called? What is it that you needed from me? What? Am I meant to be excited to receive work? You said you had a job in my ability that paid well. So, what is it? Pardon? I thought you said this job was within my skill set. I thought you said this job was within my skill set. I am a scribe. I keep track of records and make notes on important academia research. I am not an actor. What do you need a date for anyway? Taking a plus one would just complicate any plans you had prior. Oh. I see. You want to win the prize they give for best dress competition? And that's why you promised such a hefty reward. Well, I could pretend to be flattered. But as I said, acting is hardly my best skill. Listen, I think Kave would be well more suited for this event than I would. His attention to detail is far closer than my own when it comes to beauty. I can see how you might think I'd be a good choice. But I would honestly rather not. Lying? Me? Ah, I think my earpieces are malfunctioning. I must have misheard you. If you'd give me a moment to go fix them, I could... <sighs> You're not giving up, are you? Fine, then. Obviously, I'm not going to fight you. I travel the path of least resistance. If I say no, you'll nag me to death. If I say yes, you leave me alone. The easiest road to take here would unfortunately be to give you what you want. I've experienced your persistence before. It's nothing to toy with. So, what do we wear? Basic suit and tie. And you think that will win? We'll have to go shopping before the event. Your treat. What else should I add to the list of things to do before the end of the week? I'm sorry, you want to practice? Dating is an intimate experience, and that section of gala is for real couples. However, I'm not sure I can fully understand how practice would work. While I agree, we need the chemistry between us to appear real. It is highly unlikely that something as cold as practice would provide satisfactory results. In other words, if you wish to succeed, you will need something more serious than practice. From this moment forward, we are dating. No questions. Method acting is the only way to secure a win. You roped me into this. We do things my way. Is the idea of dating me really that bad? If anything, I'd think I'm the best candidate for that sort of thing. Not that I'd be interested. Opening up to the dating pool means opening yourself up to problems. Where were you last night? And what do you mean we can't go out tonight? Aren't questions I need to deal with. There's too much going on in my life as it is. I seem bland. Good. Bland means less attractive, which means I'll appeal to less people. Of course, there are always people who are attracted to blandness, but those are few and far between. Besides, it's rare someone would seek me of all people, given the rumors surrounding my name. What rumors? Uh, explaining them would take more time than I'm willing to give. If you really want to know, ask Kave. He loves gossip, and according to the others, I'm his favorite topic. Oh, don't ask me why. I have no idea. I'm just about as well-versed in the things he says as you are. I try not to give his nonsense the time of day. Every time we talk, he takes my opinion as a personal attack, so I avoid speaking to him when possible. <sighs> Things weren't always like this, but people change. With time, we all grow into our own insufferable ways. Of course, everyone has just as much potential to be good as they do bad. It's all about perception. But again, the more apathetic I appear, the less people bother me. Anyway, enough of that. We have some acting to do. I'm not hungry, so I'm not taking you out to eat. But we can do something else. What are the sections of the event? Dinner, dancing, mingling, and a speech. All right, fair. In that case, we can focus on the social segment. We need to devise a story about how we came to be together. 
It is unlike me to be seen with a partner. In fact, it's never happened, so we need something believable. Any ideas? Okay. We can work with that. Meeting outside of work would make the most sense, given you aren't a researcher. You're a designer, right? Maybe you helped me on a personal project and we... hit it off. I hope you like attention. Any story we make will sound highly unlikely. People are going to study you like you're some rare wild animal. Wouldn't be the first time. Maybe you're more interesting than you let on then. Anyway, what's the lure for you? A lot of people will ask if you're crazy for picking me, so you need to have some answers ready. Intelligent? While I appreciate the fact that you have working eyes, you need to dig deeper than that. Even if it's something I disagree with, your reason is your reason. You called me of all people for this, after all. Hmm? You think I'm... Oh. All right, then. A direct approach. I can respect it. Though, that phrasing might be a bit much for an academia-sponsored event. Let's dial it down a bit. You could say that. I captured your attention the moment you laid eyes on me, and wouldn't let up until you got what you wanted. Though, of course, that is the way a few people have felt about me in the past. We'd need an even more convincing reason as to why I'm with you. No offense. None taken. Well then, what do I like about you? You're special, that's for sure. A bold attitude. Though it isn't entirely off-putting, you're someone I could rely on to get work done. And you aren't an eyesore. You don't talk much. You're patient, persistent, creative, far more work-focused than I could ever be, which to me is a bit silly. But to the people that know me, that would be impressive. Those are our reasons, then. They might be baseline for now, but as we continue dating, we'll develop them further. Some things come with time. <sighs> Speaking of which, look at the time. I'll be heading back to work now. You think about our date tomorrow while I'm gone, okay? Come prepared with suggestions. Otherwise, I'm picking.